Lady Antonia has passed away. Aww. When she entered immortality, she was already quite frail. The hotel was the only thing keeping her alive. Should we have given her the treatment after all? It is hard to bear remembering how she closed her eyes in pain. I would live in abject regret for the rest of my life. It is far too great a pain for a puppet to endure. Thus I plan to erase my heart and become an ordinary puppet. This will be my last conversation with you as Polandina. Despite how it ended, I thank you because I know you did your best. Oh, she passed away. Damn it. I, I feel kind of bad, but then if we gave her the treatment, she would have suffered more. So she's not going to be there anymore. Hey everyone, this is Classic Gaming, aka Warren, bringing you some more Lies of P. Now, as you just heard, Lenny Antonia died. Um, sorry for the abrupt beginning. Um, it was due to the fact I wasn't recording when I realized I started the game. So um, it's what you get, I'm afraid. But we're close to the end game now. So uh, let's just carry on and see where this rabbit hole leads. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, shit. That's not cool. Save me. Oh, God. It hurts so much. I want to be free. Please. What? What, what do we do? I, I, I don't know. I, I can't make this choice. I think she wants to live, but what will you do? You have to decide. You, not me. Keep her alive, perhaps against her wishes, or, or give her peace. It, it's your call. Oh, this is not cool. Thank you. Cool. That was not cool at all. Everyone's dying, my blue foe. Uh,
Okay. I should go back and look around, but right now I just want to see what else is available if I keep moving forward. You. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not dealing with you. It's, I don't want the bosses to become just a normal walking around enemy. I love it. Ow. say this time ciao bello i had a feeling you were no ordinary kid but i never expected to meet you here it's a trivial matter everything is trivial in this part of the business reward or no reward the reason for kidnapping someone or for blocking your path here but if some audacious behavior helps my brother see again that's a different story. In all honesty, I don't want to fight. Not you, at any rate. For one, it's a damned hassle. <laughs> and why should I go out of my way to satisfy an employer who didn't pay me enough? It's not too late. We don't have to fight. I don't want to fight you. Just show me some kindness, and I might change my mind. Thank you. So I thought so I don't really care. Much, it might even cure him entirely. It's not fair the way I've been harassing you. Nope. You're the only one who's ever been kind to us. I swear on my life as a stalker that your father is safe. My employer promised not to harm him. Go on then. Go to him. Geppetto's waiting. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I took that path. I didn't really want to fight them, either of them, because one, it would probably have been a hassle, and two, I kind of like them. I kind of like them. They had my back briefly, even though they buggered off. Who the hell? Okay. Okay, repair tool. There he is.
It saddens me to see my precious son in a place like this. I wanted you to grow up as a good boy in a peaceful world. And yet, I think all I've taught you is blood and violence. This will be the last time, I ask. I promise. Simon has gone completely mad. He's trying to become a god by using a tremendous amount of ergo. I don't know what kind of world he wants to build. Perhaps there's no stopping him. I trust you, my son. And I'm ready for any outcome. But I don't know what you think of me. Speak truthfully, for my sake. Well, well the choice Was I a trustworthy father to you? I didn't. I didn't trust him. No. I see. I didn't do enough to earn your trust. I wasn't a very good father to you. I gave you more loneliness than love. That's my burden to bear. But remember, there is still plenty of time. Once all this is over, we can become a real family. I don't feel I don't think I we're promise. going to. Mm. I will give it back to you. The happy family we once were. Okay, this is definitely end game territory. All right, I've now I've got like fifty thousand to go to you. So let's see what happens. Okay, just keep going up. Ah, of course, the thing right here. That's what I was hoping for. To be fair. <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was funny. Oh, a mini Hulk. Awesome. Not getting involved. Not getting involved. Do not see you. I do not see you. Thank God, hopefully I was hoping we won't have to travel too far. What the hell? Wrong button! That, that over there is very Bioshock. It reminds me of the thing in the first bar, the place in the first Bioshock where you have to, the lighthouse you have to enter. It's pretty cool. All right, this is it. This is Endgame, like, like, yeah. You can't tell me this is not Endgame. Yep. All right, let's see what we're working with, shall we?
What the fudge is that? Oh shit, Simon. Build immortality and a key that opens a world with no lies. A key that unlocks true evolution. Yeah, mate, you must you definitely skip like that. Thanks. There goes a gift from me, Simon Monis. Who will transgress even God? Bow down to your God, who will be born now! Okay. Show me everything you have. Up with up your pento. Okay. His range is way better than I expected, to be fair. Oh, that's not good. This range is weird. I can't really get into it. It's weird. It's like... This phase is not too bad. It's just trying to get... It's just trying to get um, used to his... Um, to his movement, it's like because he has a longer reach than it looks, and you don't know how close I don't know how close I can get, but I can figure it out. Show me everything you have, Papa Dr. Mento. Oh, 
Oh, is it? Is it okay? See what the second phase is saying. <laughs> this is evolution. Uh, mm. <laughs> I have questions for you, sir. Behold, as I discard this fragile body. I grasp the power of a true god. Why are you naked? <laughs> 